Ashton Genty has been a human highlight reel so far this season, having over 200 all-purpose yards through his first two games. The former three-star recruit, who had one Power 5 offer coming out of high school, is now viewed as the best running back in college football, having rushed for 459 yards and nine touchdowns through two games against Georgia Southern and number 7 Oregon. He is the star running back for the Boise State Broncos, who almost pulled off a huge upset over Oregon this past weekend, and should be a team to watch when it comes to the Group of 5 playoff bid. Ashton Genty is also an important player to watch as he could win the Heisman Trophy this year. This is the story of the best running back in college football. This is the story of Ashton Genty. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know who you think is the best running back in college football this year in the comment section below. Ashton Genty was born on December 2nd, 2003 in Jacksonville, Florida, but moved around the world as a kid. His father, Harry, was a member of the military and was stationed in Virginia, Texas, Jacksonville, and even Italy, where Ashton would finish middle school and start high school. Ashton wanted to play football, but with his father spending three years in Italy, it made finding a place to play extremely hard since Italy really does not value youth football. His only option was to play with an Italian-based squad and play against other military schools. Ashton ran all over the competition, which was lackluster, but many could see the star Ashton could be down the road, including Jeff Rayburn. Rayburn, the head coach at Lone Star High School, remembered meeting Ashton for the first time. He had heard about Genty and how his family had moved back to the United States from Italy. He remembered when Ashton walked into the room. He remembered Ashton was big for a sophomore, but the thing that stuck out with him was Ashton's smile. Rayburn told the Idaho Press, If you've been around him at all, you know what I'm talking about. Genty pulled out his huddle tapes of the Italian-based squad playing against other military schools. It was impressive, but it was just impossible to judge the talent of the dudes on the field, let alone how that would translate to the U.S. The doubt around Genty's talent wouldn't last long as he impressed almost immediately. There was one problem though, Lone Star was loaded with talent. They returned a senior running back, a junior running back named Jaden Nixon, who would go on to commit to Oklahoma State but now plays at Western Michigan, as well as Marvin Mims at wide receiver who became a star at Oklahoma and was picked in the second round of the 2023 NFL Draft by the Denver Broncos. As a result, Ashton would be forced to play on the defensive side of the ball, playing safety, outside linebacker, and defensive line, making plays all over the field. He was named the 2019 Texas District 5-5A D1 Defensive Newcomer of the Year. Genty would move to the offensive side of the ball as a junior because Rayburn knew he was a natural offensive player and there were going to be more opportunities with the graduating players now gone. With Nixon still on the roster, Genty would play wide receiver slash running back, playing mainly in the slot, but getting some work at tailback. Rayburn explained, and the reason being, our other running back that was coming back, the kid who's at Oklahoma State now, was a really good running back, just like Ashton, but he wasn't as versatile as Ashton. Ashton could do so many things catching the ball and running routes. As muscled up as he is, he's explosive, so smooth. Genty impressed at wide receiver being selected to the Texas District 5-5A D1 unanimous first team. Finally, after three years, Ashton would get to be the star running back on the offensive side of the ball, and he would impress taking over. Genty rushed for over 1,800 yards. He added another 810 yards receiving, and the Lone Star senior finished the year with 41 total touchdowns. Good for fifth in Texas and among the top 25 of every high school player in America. He scored on an average of 20.5 points per game, leading Lone Star to a 9-3 record in the second round of the Texas 5A Division I playoffs, losing to the eventual runner-ups, College Station. Coming out of high school according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Ashton Genty was a three-star recruit, who was the 90th best running back and 1,284th best player in the 2022 recruiting class. He received over 15 different Division I offers from likes of Boise State, Cal, Kansas, and the three service academies, as well as Tulane, among others. Due to having to wait for the opportunity to become a star at Lone Star, Genty was an under-the-radar prospect but was a four-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports themselves. Rayburn feels that had Genty been the starter for multiple years, he would have been a five-star recruit, explaining, If he had played full-time running back his junior year, my guess is he'd be at Texas or Alabama or one of the Power 5 schools. Instead, Genty would decide to commit to Boise State. Rayburn went on to say, Boise State and the people in Idaho can thank us for that. Genty would graduate high school early and enrolled early at Boise State, being hyped up in Boise the minute he walked on campus. Boise State's running back coach, Winston Venables, loved what he saw in Genty's junior season film. He explained, It was like, hey, this actually might be the guy who fits exactly what we're looking to do. It's a guy who was very multiple. 
A guy who could line up in the backfield and take a handoff, line up in the backfield motion out and play wide receiver, or a guy who could freaking line up at wide receiver and run routes. Gentry immediately impressed with his remarkable size, his veteran demeanor when it came to studying and preparing for games and practicing, and his amazing ability to make the game look so easy. But, like in high school, Gentry would not get the star right away, having to sit behind fourth-year running back George Helani. He would expand his role in the offense throughout the season, rushing for 82 yards and a touchdown on 12 carries against San Diego State, 109 yards and two touchdowns on 19 carries against Fresno State, and showed out in the bowl game by rushing for 178 yards and a touchdown on the ground against North Texas. He finished his freshman year rushing for 821 yards and seven touchdowns, averaging 5.3 yards per carry, while also having 155 receiving yards on 14 receptions. As Boise State's main guy in 2023, Gentry would impress many by rushing for over 100 rushing yards six times, over 150 yards four times, and over 200 yards twice. Boise State started the season 3-4, and four, would go on to win four straight games, winning the Mountain West Conference, and in the title game against UNLV, Gentry rushed for 153 yards and a touchdown. He finished his sophomore year rushing for 1,347 yards and 14 touchdowns, averaging 6.1 yards per carry, but also had 569 receiving yards and 5 touchdowns, averaging 13.2 yards per reception. Ashton averaged 159.67 yards per scrimmage per game, which was the most in the NCAA, and finished third in the NCAA with his 1,916 all-purpose yards. He also finished fifth in touchdowns for all of college football with 19 total touchdowns. He was named a first-team All-American by multiple publications, and finished as the Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year. He did all that even though he missed two games during the season. After his amazing sophomore season, many wondered whether Gentry would enter the transfer portal to join a Power 5 school for his junior season. Going to the Power 5 would give him more exposure for the 2025 NFL Draft and would allow him to cash in on a bigger NIL deal. Instead, Gentry announced that he would be returning to Boise State for the 2024 season saying, I was able to really sit down and really think about things. Not just the money, but every single detail. The common theme was this was the right place. The best opportunity was for me to stay here. The money wasn't everything for me. It's more about where my heart told me to go. Gentry loved the relationships he had built at the school with his teammates and everyone in the football building, and when Spencer Danielson was promoted to be head coach, that played a role in his decision. He went on to say, I love this program, and I love what it's done for me. They took a chance on me, and they believed in me when nobody else did. This community is just different than the rest. Ever since I've come here, they've taken me in like I was one of their own and just supported me ever since I stepped foot on campus. After his announcement, fans started putting together a Gentry for Heisman campaign for the 2024 season. Ashton's goal for this season is to rush for 2,000 yards on the ground, even making a bet with his teammate Mason Randolph that if he does, he will cut his dreadlocks. He also wants to help lead the Broncos to the college football playoffs. Heading into the season, he has been compared to Emmett Smith, Maurice Jones-Drew, Brian Westbrook, and Kareem Hunt. Ashton Gentry would explode onto the scene in 2024, giving him national attention by rushing for 267 yards and 6 touchdowns, a Boise State record, and tied with the Mountain West Conference record on just 20 carries, and the Broncos' 56-45 win over Georgia Southern. Gentry took a counterplay 77 yards for a touchdown on his second carry of the year, running through two tacklers and pulling away from everyone else. His touchdown yardage on the day was 77, 75, 26, 5, 1-1. One in week 2 against number 7 Oregon, Gentry impressed once again, almost leading the Broncos to an upset win, rushing for 192 yards and 3 touchdowns on the ground, and had 8 receiving yards to go over 200 all-purpose yards on the day. Through 2 games, Ashton has rushed for 459 rushing yards and 9 touchdowns averaging 10.2 yards per carry. Heading into the 2025 NFL Draft, at the time of recording, Gentry is the Athletics' Dan Brugler's number 25 prospect and best running back for the class. I'm excited to see what Ashton Gentry can do the rest of the season, and I hope he can help carry Boise State to the college football playoff. What do you think? Who is the best running back in college football this year? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.